Going into 2020, a new decade, I definitely am thinking about balance. Hello friends, my name is Cassie and welcome back to my lifestyle channel after so many months of me not uploading. I make lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I do a lot of chatting about my mind and my inner ramblings. I also have a vlog channel where I'm more consistent and that is always linked down below so make sure to check that out. Also, my mom's doing dishes so sorry that's in the background. I'm at home, my, my home home. As the year is coming to a close, I wanted to do a little rewind reflection because this was a big year. I wanted to chat to you all about growth and how things aren't always what they seem and some musings that I'm feeling as the year is ending. So 2019 was the biggest roller coaster of a year that I have definitely ever had. I had some of my highest highs and some of my lowest lows and the year for me was sort of in like three parts. So we had the first part of the year that was studying away in London and it was pure magic. It was everything that I could have hoped it was. I traveled to so many new places and got to feel like I was a Londoner and got to take the tube and work for a theater and study Shakespeare. London is truly magical and I left a huge piece of my heart there. And so when I came back, I plunged into a deep depression. The next third of the year was definitely just bad. The summer was very hard for me. So much was changing, so much had changed. I let my heart get yanked around and I just was not myself. I was diagnosed with situations situational depression over the summer. Just really like struggled with mostly everything in my life and not feeling like I was in control or really could see a clear way out and it was horrible. I went to therapy which was very useful for me at this point in my life. Once the school year started I sort of got back in the groove of things and that sort of began the third part of the year for me which was regaining balance. After this euphoria followed by depression I sort of leveled out and the last three or four months have really been me trying to find my medium and my ground where I can allow myself and permit myself to feel sad but not get sucked down into it but also find the patience and kindness and happiness within myself to enjoy the highs without getting carried away and then like coming down too hard from them and getting depressed when they end. Going into 2020, a new decade, I definitely am thinking about balance. Not only how I'm balancing like the things that I'm doing, like my schedule and my time, but also how I'm balancing my own health with being there for the people that I love and my passions with the things that I know I have to do and my relinquishing control to taking things into my own hands. I believe that life is very much what you make of it. There is always a percentage that is out of our control. I have struggled my entire life with not being in control, but also I feel like I'm very trusting of the universe and what's going to happen. And going into this year, I don't have any specific plans. Like going into last year, I knew that I would be studying away in London. I was pretty sure that I would do an internship over the summer and I knew I'd be like moving into my house and things like that. But this year is largely unaccounted for. I know what classes I'm taking and I know I'm gonna go into my senior year, but I don't know what I'm gonna do over the summer. I don't know what kinds of adventures I'm gonna get into. I don't know who I'm gonna be at the end of the year. And I didn't expect to be this Cassie at the end of this year. And that's kind of exciting and very relieving. Through all of the just such difficult things that I trudged my way through this year, I feel very pleased with the person that I am leaving this decade, the people that I'm bringing with me and the people that I'm leaving behind. I thought that it would be nice for future Cassie to look back on this and remember that everything's going to change so much. You can't expect things to go any certain way, but your intentions can be so clear and going into things, trying to be yourself and be your best is all you can do sometimes. I just watched a vlog from over the summer and I was so unlike myself. It was it was horrible to watch. I didn't have fun at all. I stopped it part way through. I am pleased to report that I feel more like myself. Some bad stuff did happen and that's okay. 
because that's how we grow. Thank you for watching. I'm going on a really fun New Year's Eve trip with my boyfriend Glenn, so make sure to subscribe to my vlog channel because that'll definitely be up on there. And follow me on Instagram because I post things there too. There's so much sound going on in my home. Wiley, my cat is screaming. I hope you are going into the year with optimism as we all should, the year and the decade. Happy 2020 and I will see you next year. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go do something that makes you happy today because you deserve it. Okay, bye!